Hi, Mr. Xavier, and welcome to a four-man, very light jailbreak. This is not looking great. Well, actually, maybe. Maybe we can do this. All right, it seems like a ginormous... Yep, it's a ginormous map. Did I turn the fog off? Yeah, it looks like I did. Ginormous map because of the 24-turn timer. Luckily, the evac is sort of near the rebels that we need to go rescue. Here's a tower I can just happen to see, which may or may not be beneficial. And then there's the back wall. All right, well, this, the obvious move is, since we don't have much time, we only have four people, we can't fight everything, I come up to the back wall, run along it to the evac. If things go wrong, we get out. Uh, and if they go right, we can get some rebels out. And that's going to be the end of that, I suppose. But let's roll. Mr. K, uh, come on down. We may actually have to go up and over this building because it's kind of big and, like, directly in the way. Uh, yeah, let's actually start doing that with everybody else. Mr. K can go scout, like, the middle of the map. But the rest of you guys come up here like this. Fantastic, fantastic, and fantastic. Good, done. Huh. These ginormous map. This particular map, I'm not a huge fan of. It seems kind of cool, but maps this big are just ridiculous. Oh, wow, okay, there's actually two drones over here, which is great, because we're going to go right around these guys. That's a stroke of luck. This is the map I played one of my invasions on. Like, it's so, so ginormously huge. To play, like, this little four-man mission on it. I did one of these during testing for a 1.3. And I remember it being kind of, it was like a good test uh, bed for figuring out, like, the reinforcement rates. But at the same time, it was also very painful to play. So, I don't have high anticipations of succeeding on this mission. If I can just get out safely, I'll be happy with that. If we can get any rebels at all, awesome. Was that a sectoid? I think I heard sectoids. Or at least one. Maybe one sectoid. One or two sectoids of pitter-pattering off in the distance. Let's go over here with Mr. K. On target position now. Might have made sense to get on the roof and start looking from there. we got to be very careful here. In fact, I am going to go up on the roof now from this location and look down to the right. I think because both the drones are over there to the left, which is actually very helpful. Rolling. Oh, no, we found something with Drigri. We oh, may God, be I'll able to find hours. a bunch of guys, ambush them, and then break these guys out of the jail cell and just run right out. This is gonna be very lucky if I can manage to pull this off. I see those guys later, I can get to here with Drigri, that's awesome. If they walk over, we can like, do some burning or some oh, such. Oh, oh. Cecilia, get on the roof. Marcus, you can't get on the roof, but you could get close enough to maybe get on the roof next turn, awesome. Okay, I'm getting higher and higher hopes as we come along here. Higher and higher hopes. Like, this is a great map for an invasion. It's a great, I mean, if there were more big scale city maps to fight in, this would be a great, uh, or missions to fight in, this would be a great parcel for them. But in terms of jailbreaks, I don't know. Either they're so big you can just like run around and avoid everybody, or there's so many enemies you get kind of caught and bad things happen. Let's move down here with Drigri, and we can actually scout through that door next turn. Fantastic. Mr. K, move up there and look around. Great. Great, great, great. See, I can go on Overwatch, actually. Oh, nope, she'll get spotted if she goes over there, but we can go there at least. And then Marcus, you could probably just move up and be ready for soon. For soon. These guys come back, we can silently burn them all, maybe, if we're lucky. If they leave, great. I'm pretty sure I hear sectoids inside there. Which means once I hack the objective, they're going to come running out and be a ginormous nightmare. All right, these guys are leaving. Am I just going to luck myself into a success mission here without having actually earned anything? Let's find out what this reward is here. Hack, reflexes, I don't care about that. Hypnography, don't care. Let's open this door. Really? Hold on. This door is open guys. And what that means is there's a pod of guys in there, is what that means. I know that there's a pod of guys in there. I can almost assure you that this is a trap. They're laying, they're, they're luring me into a trap. Let's come down here with Marcus. I think that's really all we need to do, to be honest. Uh, Mr. K should probably come down to be ready to get in there and stabby stabby if there are sectoids, of which I am almost confident there are. Fantastic. Let's get Cecilia back here. Less chance of seeing those guys if they come back. But from there, she can overwatch. She can get out. We can get out. Everybody can at least get out now. Can we hack the objective? Next turn, yes. A Drigiri overwatch. I am pretty sure that these guys walked up. Oh, what? Where, where the hell did these guys come from? Okay. 
Okay. Trooper and a scout behind me, apparently. I can virtually guarantee you... There's going to be sectoids in this room. I can just... I can just guarantee you it's going to happen. Alright, so here's the plan, right? Let's break line of sight on these two guys. Uh, let's get Cecilia over here. It would probably be really awesome if we go on Overwatch with the first shot. Um, and just again, I don't want to waste any time here. I want it because these guys uh, way on this side have to come like around, and it's going to take them kind of a long way to get or a long time to get here. I would like to burn these guys, which I could do next turn if I waited one more turn. But then I might have to fight the other guys as well on top of that. So is that smart to wait, or what should I do? You know what? I think I am going to wait. Let's bring Drigri back there. We can move Marcus over here one turn. Fantastic. Not that that makes any real difference. We'll overwatch him right there. Uh, Cecilia, overwatch. Next turn, we're going loud. Mr. K, good, good. These guys walk up. We burn them. Hopefully those two guys coming up from behind us leave. Nope, they sure don't. They sure don't. Oh, and they spotted Mr. K. All right, well, that's one way to activate. Here we go. Wow. That guy just walked right up to exactly where he needed to be to get a flank spot. But none of these guys were an alert, so they're only going to have green alert actions. And we get one shot from Cecilia. Fantastic. Also, another shot from Marcus through the window. And Drigri. Nice. They all combo. Oh, no. There's even more. Oh, my lord. They've lured me into a trap. Four, five, six, seven enemies. And I know there's a sectoid somewhere. I think he's in the door cell. The Whoa. And now you guys were on alert and you take a shot and hit Cecilia 43%. Oh, freaking hell. That sucks so much. And the reinforcements are here. Holy bananarama, guys. Let's hack this objective. Wow. Yeah, I should not have waited one turn. I should have just done the right thing. Small cache of intel or two new rebels. Interesting choice. Uh, I'm not going to need the intel in the very near-term future, even though it's a very high success chance. I am here for rebels. More rebels would be fantastic. We could get the liberation chain done, potentially. So, let's roll the dice. Is this the campaign that's very nice? It is! Bam! Two new rebels join the Haven. That alone kind of makes this mission worth it. That is a lot of rebels. Also, though, is there going to be sectoids in there? Am I right? Uh, I guess I'm actually not right. That's weird. Never seen that before. Johnny M! Hey, friends! Uh, oh, hold on. We got some stun lancers here on Overwatch we've got to deal with somehow. Mark is 52 on this guy over there flanked. You got no real other great shots. I think we're just going to... Well, not necessarily just yet. Did these guys come out? No. There's that guy there, this guy here, and Drigri is over there. And where's all our shots? We might need to put a rocket down here. We might need to put a rocket here to take care of these two guys. That probably makes the most sense with Drigri. And then Cecilia can take out this guy with like a point blank or a shot here or something really hard. I'm not sure yet. Maybe here, slice over there. Okay. I think I've got everything under control. What we need to do is land a rocket in here to break this overwatch so we can run everyone out and deal a ton of damage. It's going to land right there. Fantastic. Drigri, rockets ahoy, friend. Rockets ahoy. Boom. Critical hit for seven. Hit that guy for four. Expose him. Fantastic. Stun Lancer was killed. And now whoever this guy is is standing in the open. He is actually a scout. That's pretty bad. Marcus, do you have a flank on that scout? No. And somehow you actually lost your vision on this scout? How the... How the... What? How the hell did destroying that wall make you lose vision on that scout? What? Hold on. Let me try to fix this. It doesn't seem right to me. No. Nope. Apparently destroying this wall has lost Marcus's vision on that scout. For whatever reason... <laughs> I'll never know, but whatever. That's what happened there, I suppose. I could come inside here, but that's going to open, uh, open us up to a flank from these guys. And also, this guy needs to be dealt with somehow. Maybe Cecilia could do that. Uh, though she could also take down this guy. Maybe. What's her odds? She does have red fog. 61%. Not great. There's actually a lot of guys on the map right now, and I'm not super excited about my options. Alright, let's try to this. Mr. K... Really? Oh. What? Nobody can see this guy at all now. I guess, because we can't even target him with a slice. What? Okay, I'd love to bring Cecilia down and just blow him away, but then she'll be exposed. If I come in here, she's probably too far away to kill him. If we move back here, we can't 
I can get a flank on this guy. Oh, nope. Actually, I can't get a flank. I can't get vision on him from any tile. So that kind of locks us into either coming down here and point blanking from three tiles away, which is a pretty lofty thing. Or we move down here, leave that scout alive, hope she doesn't get murdered randomly by a stun lancer down the street. I think that's the best course of action. 60, 43, 33. All right, let's go for the 60. Cecilia, scout, please. Please, kill the scout. Awesome. Did you see that one? I did. It was very good. However, it's not necessarily good enough because... Yeah, now we've lost vision on this guy. Mm, I don't know. Who knows what's going on with this game? Let's just come over here, slice in a dice, Mr. K, stabby stabby, 84%, see you later, trooper. We are losing that scout completely alive, which I don't like in the slightest. But as long as it doesn't kill Cecilia, I don't think it'll kill anyone else. Now, let's get back here to Marcus, if at all possible. No, none of you guys. Marcus, let's toss an aid protocol up on Cecilia since she's super wounded right now. And all of you guys need to come out of here. Admiral Price, the Admiral. Let's move you down to, I suppose, this cover. Um, let's see here. Johnny M, we can move you maybe all the way out here to that cover. Actually, you guys could be getting flanked there. I guess we'll find out. Narges Jav Javed, I suppose. Move you out there. Great. And then, now here's the big question. Are there sectoids over here? Are there sectoids up here? Where is there more likely to be sectoids? I don't know. Uh, either way, let's run over there with the felts and with Consi and pray we don't activate more sectoids. We did not. That's awesome. And let's do the same thing with Consi. No idea where those sectoids are, but I know they exist someplace. I heard them. I heard them pitter-pattering. Now then, can we survive this big uh, attack here? Wow, reinforcements too. This is crazy mission. All right, Rocketeer, Stun Lancer. We still have a Scout, Stun Lancer, Officer on the board. So that's five. Okay, there are Sectoids right up there. I was right. You can hear their pitter-patters. They're very distinct. They seem like they're right around the corner. Oh, God, this is the one guy I'm really worried about. He's going to go for a flag on Mr. K. Mr. K, barrel roll. Holy critical hit. 11% for seven. And that makes him panic. This is extremely bad. Stun Lancer comes up, takes a shot at Drigri, swinging a miss. Officer moves up. Don't shoot Cecilia again, you doofus. 23% this time. Luckily, we had our aid protocol up cutting. That would have been a 43% otherwise. That's a big help. Another sectoid yellow alert zombie res. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here now. Another yellow alert zombie res. All right, well, we know there's three sectoids on the map. <laughs> kind of obvious. They're giving away their, their tactics here, it seems. Mr. K, we're gonna have to buy some time for us somehow, and I'm not even sure how, because... Uh... Can I come down here? Actually, maybe I should... If I come down and stabilize him... That's all my action points for the turn. I could come... Uh... uh who, who else could stabilize him? Drigri... No, Cecilia's the only one. And then Drigri could come in here and burninate... Well, he can't really necessarily guarantee a burninate on that guy. I think what we're gonna need to do is come up here and burninate these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can't burn them both. I could move up here into the open and maybe burn these two. I was like right here. One, two, three, four, five, six in a diagonal. Can you do six in a diagonal with the uh, flamethrowers? It's going to be hard for me to tell. If I was right there, it would be like one, two, three, four, four. Not even close. You could do six at a weird angle, but not six at a diagonal. I don't think I can hit all any of these guys. And doing this might risk activating sectoids as well. All right, well, first things first, we have no overwatches, so let's run up here with Johnny M. That's looking good. And then, Narges, so let's get you out. Then, who else can get out of here? Admiral Price. Oh, God, don't open the door, you doofus. Patrick Price, get you out of here. Fantastic. Can we get out Konzi? Nope. No such luck. We could come out here, though, and shut the door. So we could at least do that and prepare for that next turn. What do we do, though, with Marcus? Can we get him into the evac? We can't move and shoot. We could move him into the evac and run, though. Let's get all these guys out while we have the opportunity. I gotta save Mr. K somehow, but how? I could get down there and heal him. I gotta just blow this guy away entirely, but how? If I come in here, we're flanked. By what, though? What are we flanked by exactly? Well, the Stun Lancer. Come over here, the Stun Lancer's flanking us. Here, the Stun... Everything's... 
The Stun Lancer's flanking Cecilia everywhere she goes. Except maybe here, but then we are not going to have 100%. Especially with this guy, he probably has, like, um, defense up the wazoo, so... Well... Here's the plan, guys. It's so dicey. Drigri, move on up. Whoa, whoa, game. Hold the phone, game. Yeah, I knew I couldn't burn that second guy, but maybe we can burn this guy into the ground with a burnination. Perfect. He's burning. We're gonna get Drigri out of here now. Just in time. Yes, just in time indeed. Marcus, I wish there were more things. You know what? You do have Sentinel. I could put you back here and buy a little bit of time with you. That is so dangerous, but I think we're actually going to do it. Wait a minute. What's this hack? All right. Reflexes. Uh, I think we have to go on Overwatch, and hopefully these guys don't do very much. Let's go for it. And then Cecilia, I think we're going to move you down here to a location where only that Stun Lancer can see you. Where would this Rocketeer? He can come through this window. We'd have to come all the way up there to see you. I think if I went right here, it would be very difficult for him to actually get to you. Or could he? I don't know. I could go here, but then you won't be able to kill this guy. You're going to have to kill this guy. Let's do it the furthest possible distance with her. She's only got 3 HP, but she will not leave Mr. K behind. She won't do it. She absolutely won't do it. Will a point blank work? Actually, probably not. All right, then. 93%. Oh. Barrels. Yes. 16 damage, okay. And then the felts. Kanzi, can you shut this door? No. The felts. Uh. Damn it, I would have been. Hmm. Uh. I should have shut the door before I left with Marcus. Now Kanzi may take a hit here. Let's move the felts out here. Be the hero that he is and see if he can uh, soak up some of their actions. Not my favorite turn in the world, I'll tell you that. This is very dicey. Many people could die right now. Stun Lance is burning. Oh, God. Gonzi! Do a barrel roll! Do a barrel roll! Oh, God, no. I think if I had shut the door, it wouldn't really have mattered. He could have walked through the door. Okay, come on, zombies. Oh, no, Marcus. That's not where we want to waste our Overwatch. Oh, poor Gonzi. This is where we want to waste our Overwatch. Whoa! Rocketeer just shoots Marcus. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, well, good game, Marcus. That's your campaign. Enjoy your campaign, friends. Enjoy your campaign. No way you're getting out of here alive. Oh, my Lord. That panic, though. Panic. I've lost so many guys to panic over the years. Uh, officer moves over and marks. Stun Lancer's gonna run up. Oh no! The Felts! This is actually really bad because now he only has one movement point and he may not be able to get out because he's also disoriented. No! Yes! The Felts! Run for it! Run for it! Oh god, Marcus, what can we do to save you? That's a bad bush. There's literally nothing we can do to save you. Mr. K could throw a flashbang. But then he's going to be stabbed to death by a million guys. He's got to run out of here. Uh, the felts, get out. Oh, God, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. That panic has killed you. Mr. K, you're out. Cecilia, you're out. Well, was this worth it? <laughs> was this mission worth Marcus's life is the question. Um, we did get three rookies. We're gonna trade one, like, half-decent, half... He's got a laser rifle, too, we're about to lose. Unless he does crazy barrel rolls. Yeah, he didn't do crazy barrel rolls. Whoo! Um... Yeah, you get panicked, you die. It's, that's, it may as well just be an auto-explode button half the time. Huh. I mean, I did, he was in high cover too. And I, and he only got hit for one with a graze. 
I mean, that's just, I think that's just bad luck, really. I could have run him out, but then I think they would have moved up and murdered, like, Cecilia somehow, or focused on her, or something like that. Maybe not, though. Maybe not. Anyway, Marcus goes down a hero, a saving a whole bunch of people. I guess that's the best you can really ask for sometimes when RNG hits you in the face. Key All-Star MVP player. I have no friggin' clue. Marcus, six missions. Ah, oh, that sucks so much. A corporal specialist lost to gain three rookies who will live on to fight another day. 13 days on Cecilia, 33 days on Mr. K. The panics are out of control lately. Like, lots and lots and lots of panics this mission. God, we would have been fine. You know what? Combatives, of course. I think we would have been fine if we just did, didn't have one of those panics. Cecilia, of course. I think we're going to go cool under a pressure because that is the way to go for Overwatch, and that's what we're doing. And that's it. Oh, hey, guys. We did get Johnny M, Patrick Price, and, well, no, Konzi. Konzi didn't quite make it there either. That zombie punched him right in the face. The Felt is here, and we also picked up Narjez uh, Javade or some such. Okay. And, and... We picked up two extra rebels. So you know what? That mission was definitely worth it because these additional rebels will make all the difference in detecting the future missions here. 11 people on Intel now. That is fantastic. Let's hit up... Oh, wait. Have no new supplies coming in. I guess we can't hit up we'll the GTS. New means of Let's take a look at the new characters then. We got... Uh, the Felt has two. He's gravely wounded for 21 days. Okay, let's go let's go see if he has a bio though. A customize. Uh yes, I believe so. Character info. Never surrender! Never give up! A long time loner, taking out any vulnerable advent available. This man has finally joined the official resistance to help end the alien menace. Finally, the felt. Finally. You finally got on board. The first thing you're gonna do is go take a nap in the infirmary for a month. Uh here's the Admiral. What do we have here? Customize. Character info. The elders don't just visit different planets. They often visit during different dimensions. Such tampering with the space-time continuum can have consequences. Patrick has one such consequence. A prince, a general, and a warrior in his own land. What? Where the hell did you come from, friend? I envision like a desert with lots of kangaroos and you're just sitting up on like a giant bamboo-style throne with like drinks with the uh, umbrellas in them. And they're pink. Pink, pink drinks, not pink umbrellas. Although, those are probably yellow now that I'm thinking about it. Also, with a cherry on top. And, like, this is what this guy's doing with his life. And then, okay, what happens after that, though? A prince, a general, and a war in his own land, Patrick, was sucked into our universe when an alien experiment with the fabric of time and space went awry. He landed in the ruins of Karachi. Dot, dot, dot. This is so, so, like, Doctor Who screw around with time-ish. Uh, and took up arms against the aliens. He doesn't fight to return home. He only wants revenge. God, I wish that you could give characters drinks. Like, literal drinks. And that's, they could just have them walk around town, walk around the Avenger with drinks in their hand. It'd be amazing. Uh, and last but not least, Johnny M. Johnny M, what's your deal? The deal is with you, character info, son of a 1960s greaser. <laughs> Former NXT champion Manzano was on a two count against John Cena when aliens stormed the arena. He looks like this could be legitimate. After several big boots and DDTs, Manzano fled to safety. His educated feet have been replaced by bullets, but every now and then he gets a cheeky three count on a sectoid. God, Johnny M. I never even read this, and you were such a hero in the Wizards of the Coast campaign, too. Yeah, he's like, I never read this. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. What are the stats here? We got average, average, a ooh, Johnny M, 71 aim. Maybe a sniper reprisal, eh? And then uh, the Admiral, pretty well average all around. Super high defense. And the Felts, pretty well average all around. Okay. Well, fetter ye well. I got the memorial. Oh, look at this, guys. Everyone's here. Celebrating, like, the life of Marcus. 
Now that he is gone, Deidre is serving up the bar uh, to an entirely packed room. Wow, this place is literally packed. How's the barracks looking right now? It's a little sparse. There's only a handful of people here. There's me. I'm just like pretending to drink, just like real life. Never was a colossal fan of alcohol. In any event, that's the end of the episode. When's we returning? An Advent HQ, Deflated Express. It's gonna be a big one. It's gonna be, I think it's actually like 36 to 38 enemies, but we've got a fairly decent squad. So hopefully that's gonna be fun. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Rockets ahoy! Boom! Critical hit for seven, hit that guy for four, expose him. Fantastic. Stun Lancer was killed, and now whoever this guy is is standing in the open. He is actually a scout. That's pretty bad. Marcus, do you have a flank on that scout? No. And somehow you actually lost your vision on this scout? How the... How the...